gone through it, you've done the important steps, the key points, and now we want you to do it the last time, and I want you to tie all of them together mm -hmm. and tell me the important steps, the key points, and the reasons for the key points, okay? Okay. All right, so how many important steps were there, Clay? Six. All right, so go ahead. What was important step number one? Important step number one is prep the supplies. Okay. Got them here. Got key point number one is to keep connection sterile. And that's to avoid contamination. That's the reason for that. And then key point number two is one alcohol pad per bottle for 10 seconds. And that's to disinfect. Step number two is to scrub the hose. And what are your key points for that? There are two key points for that. Key point number one is twist the hub ten times. And to swipe ten times at the end of the cap. And what was the reason for twisting? And that is to disinfect. And the reason for the swiping? also to disappear. Okay. Right. And then the, the next key point in that is to dry for 10 seconds and that the reason for that is to give the appropriate kill time for the alcohol to dry. Perfect. Okay. So what's your next step? Step number three would be prepare the line. Are there any key points to important step number three? There's two key points to that. The first one is to flush with 10 cc normal saline. Okay. And, and the why? reason for that is to clear the line. Perfect. The second key point is to waste 10 cc of blood with the same syringe, and that's to obtain a clean specimen. Step number four. Okay, what is it? Uh, would be collect the specimen. Okay. Were there uh, any key, key point number one for that is to draw 10 cc's of blood. Okay. And the reason for that, because it's the recommended amount. Two is to flush with 10 cc's on the saline, and the reason for that is to clear the line. Okay. Now, step number important step number five would be to fill the bottles. Important step number one is to connect the syringe to the transfer device. Key point number one. And the reason for that is to be able to transfer the blood to the bottles. Okay. Uh, key point number two is to use the green bottle first. Okay. And the reason for that is because you don't want any air in the purple bottle. Okay. And what's key point number three? That would be five milliliters in each bottle. And the reason for that is because this is the recommended amount. Okay. So green first, green purple. An important step number six is scan and label. Key point number one is do it at the bedside. And the reason for that is so you have the correct patient with the correct armband. And then, 
key point number two is to place over the white label. And the reason for that is so you don't cover the barcode. Okay. So that lab will be able to scan the barcode in. Perfect. Very good. Okay. So how do you feel about this job? Do you feel like you could accomplish this job if we set you out to do this in the unit? I do. Okay, Clay, so now that you've completed all of your um, checkoff steps on this, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put you on your own. Do you think you're comfortable enough to go and draw some blood cultures on some patients? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're going to designate Kyle for you today. He's your preceptor, and he's going to be following you. He has been TWIGI trained on the blood culture collections. So he will actually check you off, and we have four patients in ICU today that need their blood cultures collected. So he's going to go with you on those four patients and let you do that. Um, what I'll do is on your second patient, second or third patient, I'll come in and check up on you to see how things are going. But if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask myself or Kyle. Can you think of any questions you may have at this point? I know when I first did it, sometimes the important steps or things may have gotten twisted. But if you do, Kyle will be there to prompt you and help you get through that process. Okay? And what I'll do is we will actually, over the next week, all of the blood cultures that we have to do here in critical care, we will assign you those. And if you feel competent enough and Kyle says that your follow-ups are doing a good job, then we'll put you on your own and you can collect them on your own patients only. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.